Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial, we've added an exciting new feature that allows you to use your cutter on a network, no longer tethered by a USB cord. Let's get started with setting up your Mac computer on a network. Start by clicking on Utilities, then click on Setup Plotter. Click on the Advanced button, then Network. Select the name of your cutter, then choose the model. Make sure to click on Save, and that's it. You're ready to cut on your network. The process is similar for Windows. You just want to start by clicking on Utilities, select Advanced, and then Network. Choose the network and select the model in the next drop-down. Make sure to click on Save and verify at the top right corner that the plotter name appears. That's it. Now you're ready to cut on the local network. For a serial port, you want to make sure that you know what COM port the plotter is connected to. Start by navigating to your device manager, look for ports, and click the expand area to see what is listed. To confirm the port, disconnect the plotter serial cable from the computer and check to see if it disappears. In this example, I unplug the plotter and watch it disappear. After you plug it back in, it will reappear. Take note of the COM port so that it can be selected in the next step. Then you can close the Windows device manager. In the app, select Utilities, click on Setup Plotter, then click Serial. Next, choose your cutter, then choose the port. Verify at the top right of the window that your plotter is selected. To set up a serial port on your Mac, go to the Spotlight and search System Profiler. There, you'll want to verify that the computer recognizes the port. Click on USB and verify that it says USB Serial Converter. If you're unsure which USB Serial Converter is connected to your plotter, disconnect the USB cable from the computer and press Command-R to refresh the page. Then plug the USB cable back into the computer and press Command R to refresh the list and your plotter should be displayed. Ignore the network interface detection by clicking cancel. We are only verifying that the computer recognized the connection and taking note of the serial number for the next step. Go to utilities and select setup plotter. Then choose serial and choose your plotter from the list. On the port drop-down, select the USB serial port we saw previously. When you're done, just make sure to verify in the upper right corner of the app that the correct plotter is selected. That's all for today. See you next time.